Hey Chums, Dia here. So I figured finally after doing a rather extensive look and playthrough of the Edge Runners mission kit, I would finally be able to give a good comprehensive view of the kit and what I think of it personally. So the uh, kit came out here uh, just a little bit before Gen Con and it's been out for a few months now. And you might be wondering, well, why are you suddenly reviewing it now? That's because I have taken time to be a player and also run the kit and also take time to really look over the kit and really get a good feel of what I like and don't like out of it. And I want to clarify, there is maybe one or two things uh, in the kit that is more specifically with the roll 20 set that kind of has an issue but outside that this was a fantastic product from our talisorian game then again there's a lot of things that our has produced that i've been happy with and i want to clarify as always i'm not sponsored by our talisorian games they just happen to allow me to review a lot of their stuff so of course, first things first, thank you so much to uh, DICE, uh, Rob Barefoot, gosh dang it, for uh, allowing me to review this. And also, to all of you for being patient with me. Now the Edge Runners Mission Kit, it runs for $35 for the physical box set and $15 for the PDF version. The Roll20 version I got for free but I can pull that up here while we are talking about the box itself. Now, what comes in the box is you get a lore book called the Edge Runner's Handbook that covers everything that happened from the 2020s and how we get to the 2070s, including some things that happened between the 2045 era and the 2070s era, especially like during the era of the Metal Wars, which is like the 2060s. And they also talk about uh, some of the new uh, updates to cyberware and how we go from a neural link and all the things that you have to have in order to make cyberware work to just the simple neural port. The other books are also in here. Uh, that is the rule book and also the mission book, the jacket. The rule book. It's a pretty straightforward uh, explanation of how the rules work in Cyberpunk if you are new to the game. The only thing that it really doesn't include is character creation and progression. Other than that, you'll have all the rules that you need to play Cyberpunk. Plus, also you have the hacking rules and it comes with some awesome new rules that can be applied to the time of the red as well, such as humanity gain and humanity loss like much more clear definitions on what those are and we also get some new cyberware as well also a new street drug the immunoblockers the rule book itself i don't really have any complaints or like big comments about it personally it's very well put together and it's pretty easy to read through the one thing I kind of hoped for, though, is maybe if we had a table of contents, but that's okay. It's a, it's a starter kit. Like, everything's pretty condensed as it is already. And then finally, we have the jacket. The jacket uh, is one of the longest uh, single adventures by far that Artal has written. And I think that will still even stand up to a certain mission that's coming up in an upcoming book, uh, Tales of the Red, Hope Reborn. The jacket took my group uh, three sessions to complete, and also when I ran it for a couple of groups, it took three sessions to complete. And I'm not going to go into specifics about the jacket, I don't want to get into spoilers, but it does a very good job of walking GMs through how the scenes are supposed to play, how the mood should be, and gives a lot of context for 
little tidbits that if you're a new GM, you just wouldn't know unless you had been playing Cyberpunk for a little while. But like one little detail I noticed is they define what Smash is. For the longest time, I wasn't sure what exactly Smash was, but it appears to be a mixture of uh, cheap beer and uh, energy drink. So I wonder why it uh, gets to your head pretty quickly. The other stuff that comes in here, there is a really, really good looking set of yellow and green dice that match the same color scheme as the uh, Edge Runners Mission Kit and the 2070s era of Cyberpunk. And also, there's a map of Night City as well. It's all really, really good looking stuff. There's standees uh, that were uh, made by Studio Trigger. And also, something else that's in here, Adam Smasher's stat block is in here. And it's also been integrated to fit for Cyberpunk Red as well. So all in all, when I look at the Edge Runners Mission Kit, some of the things that I've kind of scaled, I don't have like an official rubric yet, but some of the things I look for is the cost of entry and also like how much playtime you can get for the product in question. And for me, I, I don't have a, a, a rubric just yet, but the Edge Runners Mission Kit, because it's a special exception, it's going to be a box set. It's everything you need to play is contained in the box for you and up to seven players to play the game. Though usually they recommend like a group of four to five, but you can play with up to seven to have all the roles filled. The only three roles that aren't included is exec, lawman, and media, but it makes sense for the scale of this campaign, why they're not in here. Because it's a very street level, very edge runner lined campaign. The other uh, things that I also look at is the cost. It's $35 for a box set, which to me, I think that's fantastic. That your starter kit is very affordable. It's cheaper than most of the expansions that come out for Cyberpunk Red. For $35, you get three to four sessions of gameplay. You're able to learn the new system. And also on top of that, you get new, all the new mechanics to apply to Cyberpunk Red. And for someone who might be new to Cyberpunk, this is a good step, especially for those of you guys coming from the 2077 crowd to be able to understand what we got going on in Cyberpunk Red. However, you'll still probably need to take some time to look into the lore of the Time of the Red. And I know it's been mentioned by Jay Gray. There is no set date. It's just at some point in the future, we are going to get a 2077 source book. But the Edge Runner's Handbook, the, the lore book, covers a lot of details already about Night City in the 2070s. So for the cost, the value, cost of entry i think is beyond expectations I, I i if i had to get put it like on you know the american grading scale i i, I would give it an a not quite an a plus but an a the only reason why i'm I, i'm putting it there is because uh compared to the pdf version 35 bucks can still be a lot for some people but a plus you'd have to be like out of your mind to be selling it for any cheaper than 35 bucks for a box set. The other point that I want to make for the high grade is the fact that you can have so many players and for $35, you have at least three to four sessions of gameplay. And then they provided a free extra mission that gives you at least a fourth or fifth session, depending on how long it takes you guys to complete the jacket. The other stuff that's included is the enhancements, which you use to upgrade your cyberware while in game without needing a techie to do it. You just slap it onto your cyberware with the techie. You don't have to go through the whole installation process. 
The other things that I've noticed with the Edge Runners Mission Kit that really puts it up there. The amount of time and effort that was put to make this the easiest point of entry for any new GMs. I I, I, I would say for any new GMs who want to get into Cyberpunk Red, start here. And then once you have an understanding of how the system works, then start learning about the time of the red or, you know, pick up uh, easy mode uh, from Cyberpunk Red as well if you want to try that instead. But this is a great entry point to learn about, you know, the basic interlock system that Cyberpunk Red runs on. The quick hacking uh, is pretty well balanced, actually, because it's a really, really high number to get some of the really strong hacks to, to go. And you're only playing as a Netrunner with an Interface 4, so you gotta use luck points in order to pull off some of the real gnarly hacks. Because that was one of my biggest glaring concerns, was how out of hand was quick hacking going to get. And they did a pretty good job putting a limiter on it. My other impressions uh, are also included with the Roll20 system, which is something that I use a lot. They did a really good job of making sure everything was in the kit and everything was laid out like tokens were already preset on the maps. And also, they made sure that all the maps fit the grid correctly. There wasn't like these little half squares on the edge like I noticed with the Tales of the Red uh, Street Stories maps. But I think that was a afterthought. Nothing against Loki battle mats. It's just one of those little things that I've noticed. I don't. I don't think it's just Loki battle mats. It's uh, the map makers over there used half squares. I appreciate that we didn't do half squares this time around. The other uh, point of interest that I have with the roll twenty system is every character has a sheet, but there is one glaring issue that keeps coming up with roll 20 and if you are going to use the roll 20 system you're going to have to track each token's health individually and on top of that you're going to have to check if they have a melee weapon you need to make sure that the medium or the melee weapons skill is set for that weapons slot on the sheet or else it's not going to roll correctly and this has been a glaring issue I've noticed with Roll20 again and again and again. So I hope that with uh, future releases on Roll20 that they'll get this fixed. On that note, would I recommend the Edge Runners Mission Kit for everyone? I, I would. This is probably by far the best product that would be able to be put in front of a new set of players people will recognize it because you know of course i mean look look at who's on the box that like if we had to go straight off the brand recognition i mean it's yellow cyberpunk you got david martinez and lucy uh on the front of the box people are going to know what's up immediately especially because this is an epilogue after the anime and the story that is told here is very very good the great closure to what happened after the anime. And also, they do a really good job of keeping the campaign independent of the events that happen with V or uh, the Edge Runners Mission Kit itself. So, with that in mind, I... I'm going to rate this at a solid 9 out of 10. 10 out of 10 is going to be a tough one for me, personally, because you have to have everything down at. And part of this, it's not probably on our towel, but it might be over on whoever was programming the Roll20 sheets. A little more care would have been needed, because you got all the weapons set up correctly. Like, all the ranged weapons. It's just always the melee weapons that were always off. And that's been a constant frustration that should have been addressed after the last uh, expansion, which was Danger Gal Dossier. 
But other than that, 15 bucks uh, for the PDF system and uh, $35 here. And then for roll 20, if we go over to the marketplace uh, and look up the edge runners mission kit, the edge runners mission kit, it's 15 bucks on roll 20 as well. So in my personal opinion, you have all you need to run your first full length adventure and learn about a new system for 15 bucks if you really wanted to only do digital. And honestly, for some people, that's kind of how they have to do it. So I think, if anything, if you have not picked this up yet, I would highly recommend it. And also, the box is fucking gorgeous. Oh, excuse my profanity. But it, it is beautiful. I think on that note, folks, I've said my piece on what I have to say about the Edge Runners Mission Kit. Personally, because I enjoy the Time of the Red, I am not as well-versed in the Time of the 70s. But as a GM, I think this is fantastic for any new GM. So, also players, if you want to get your GMs to learn something else, try this. Until then, friends, thank you so much for tuning in. Artal, as always, thank you for sending me products to review. I am very happy with this. And until then, chums, stay safe out there. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.